I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact, give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back back to the channel or welcome if you're new here i'm christina aka that runner and today we are back with more of beautiful w2k22 universe mode Here we go, people. We've got Randy Orton versus John Cena here tonight. It's going to be quite interesting, to say the least. Uh, we had Randy Orton not too long ago attacking John Cena and that sort of thing, and that's how we got to this matchup right here. Speaking of attacks, last episode we saw Cesaro and Jordan Devlin get into a backstage, and that match has been made official for night two of WrestleMania. So coming up with the next few episodes, we will have that matchup and that sort of thing, as confirmed by General Manager Christina Bennett. So there is that. So as per usual, grab your snacks, grab your beverage, get comfy and cozy. And we've got the final part of night one of WrestleMania. Again, I'm hoping that this is out on Friday, so that way we don't have a double upload situation type deal. And then Saturday, my hope is, you know, of course we have our usual reaction video and then I don't know. I, it all depends on how fast we get the last four episodes filmed and edited and uploaded and that sort of thing. So, who knows? Who knows what could happen here? But I feel like we'll at least take at least, you know, Saturday is kind of like the breather day, which is really our reaction video day. <laughs> so that way everyone can kind of get caught up, right? Right. I feel like that's more than reasonable. And I've liked the shorter episodes. Well, shorter as in like the two match format type of thing. This one's a three match format because it's the last part, which I feel like makes some kind of sense, I would think, right? Right. But we've got John Cena versus Randy Orton. We've got Rhea Ripley versus Bianca Belair. I forgot that Rhea was actually on SmackDown and not Monday Night Raw for like the longest time. I spilled my tea when I went to get up during the break. Let's go to work, Cena. Let's go to work indeed. Okay, but yeah, I accidentally spilled the rest of my tea. Um, I usually drink tea or, you know, um, water while I'm filming this at this point. Sometimes a mug of hot cocoa does the trick too. But yeah, we basically got through to like, I got most of my tea, you know, I drank most of it, but then I got up and then I accidentally knocked over the rest, so I'm a little sad. But I did purchase some new honey, so I'm very excited about that. I've been getting into tea because it's like, it's, you know, another way to get water in and it's tea. It's decaf tea. Because I need something to drink at night sometimes and it's winter time and it's a nice toasty beverage. But either way around, we've got John Cena versus Randy Orton here in the clash of all of our childhoods. I feel like... Did they ever have a match at WrestleMania? They've got to, right? Either I spaced out or something one of those years. It's, again, it's been a while. It has been a while. There we go. We got Randy Orton versus John Cena here tonight. Last episode, of course, we saw a brand new Intercontinental Champion crown in the form of Bob Lashley, so that's also quite exciting. We're, we're proud of you, Bob. The, the Bob Redemption arc has also commenced. We have a lot of redemption arcs happening. But it does leave the question, what happens with Goldberg? What happens with LA Knight? We're going to have to find out now, aren't we? But we've still got a huge show just stacked. We also got Shinsuke Nakamura defending his NXT Championship against Finn Balor, so that'll be quite exciting to watch. Then on night two, we've got 
Sasha Banks versus Charlotte Flair. I know we have the name change IRL for Sasha, but that's okay. We're going with what's in we're going with what's in the game, right? Right. We've got Shayna Baszler and Bailey. We've got Baszler and Bailey versus the way in a Falls Count Anywhere match for the women's tag team championship. So the next episode is gonna be an all women's episode, which is quite nice. After that, we got MGK versus Robert Roode for the United States Championship, and we've got the Men's Money to Make Ladder match fe featuring Karrion Cross, Edge, Tyler Bate, and Johnny Gargano. Then we've got three matches after that. We got Cesaro versus Jordan Devlin, the Women's Battle Royal, and then Christina Bennett versus Beth Phoenix in the career threatening match for Christina Bennett. And then, of course, we've got the grand finale where we will have. Seth Rollins versus Kyle O'Reilly, and then AJ Styles versus Walter versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. And that's kind of how the format's going to go. So, again, if you don't want to see all this, it's probably going to be in the description. So, uh, brace yourselves for the very long description. <laughs> I'll put that in there as like a, you know, uh, here's a heads up kind of situation type deal, right? Right. Randy's going for the stomps. I know I just sort of like have neglected to just comment on the match so far, but I feel like, you know, we all gotta get on the same page, right? Right. And so I, shoot, I very rarely read the descriptions anyway, so I totally get it if you don't. Uh, I usually will read like the top comment though, or a pinned comment, you know, those sorts of things. I think that's only fair, you know, that type of stuff, right? Right. Okay, well, we definitely can't see you. And here we go, we got John Cena going after Randy Orton right here. Oh god. Cena, no. What are we doing? Oh no, he's going for the AA off the top rope. Oh no, well the middle rope technically, but still it counts. Oh my god, that's gotta be it for Randy. Oh my god, how did Randy kick out? Randy Orton of course looking to branch out onto his own from Riddle. And that's let him down to our guy John Cena. Give him a Snickers bar. I was just reading the sign of the crowd. I have no shame. Out of nowhere. Oh boy. Cena's busted open. Oh no. Here we go. Oh, what a huge stomp to the elbow. Huge kick right there from Randy to Cena. Oh, boy. I don't think we've ever had John Cena, like, in a universe mode for, like, extended period of time now that I think about it. Maybe that needs to change. Oh, but Randy Orton hits the RKO out of nowhere. Could this be it for John Cena here tonight? Oh, and Cena kicks out. Super Cena. Ch -ch -ch. What is Randy doing? Oh, no. Randy's going deep into the move set here tonight, trying to get Cena to tap out. I mean, we did see The Miz beat John Morrison with a stomp, so I mean, like, anything's possible at this point, right? Well, that should have been counted as a pinfall attempt right there. Oh, okay, I, okay, that was not the smoothest counter, but it was a counter nonetheless. Oh, and John Cena looking for it again. Cena hits the AA. Could this be enough to put away Randy Orton right here tonight? And John Cena defeats Randy Orton here tonight in an exciting opening match. But again, I know I jibber-jabbered about the entire WrestleMania itself and not so much the match in this episode, or in this part anyway, or in this match at least. But I feel like it's important that everybody, you know, we get on the same page and John Cena picks up a huge win here tonight at WrestleMania in front of the people, which is always a lovely and fantastic. Let me know what match that you'd like to see John Cena in, like, WrestleMania for WrestleMania 39 coming up, because we've, we've gotten some ideas floated around, but, you know, let, let me know. I'm really curious, because there could be some good ones that we could get this year, I think. Right? Right. 
But either way around, let's get to the next match. We got Rhea Ripley versus Bianca Belair coming up next. All right, everyone, here we go, here we go, here we go! We got Rhea Ripley versus Bianca Belair. Of course, Rhea Ripley made it through and, you know, made it through Queen of the Ring and that sort of thing and was, you know, very successful and all that. Right, right. Didn't quite get the gra the brass ring, but she is here at WrestleMania. Of course, I keep forgetting that she's on SmackDown and not Raw. I swear, between her and, um, oh gosh. Her and Becky, I forgot they were on SmackDown this entire time. And I'm like, well, yeah. Because, I mean, you got you can't have all your eggs in one basket or, you know, in two baskets. you got to spread everyone out a little bit, right? Got to have a few stars on each of the shows that, you know, to keep people engaged and interested in that sort of thing. And Rhea Ripley has been quite impressive in Universe Mode, even though we haven't seen much of her. She crushed in the Queen of the Ring tournament and that sort of thing. So, there we have it, y'all. Of course, Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair, they've sort of had a little bit of a bubbling feud in recent weeks. After Rhea Ripley kind of cost Bianca Belair that beautiful Money in the Bank ladder match spot. But I mean, hey, a singles match at WrestleMania, I think, is, you know, you made it to WrestleMania. You somehow made it to WrestleMania, and, you know, that's what counts. Right? Right. And honestly, this is the WrestleMania match I would like to see this year. I'm just saying. <laughs> it, it writes itself. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. We got Bianca Belair taking on Rhea Ripley here tonight at WrestleMania. We still got a huge main event to get to of night one of WrestleMania here tonight as well. When we have Finn Balor challenging Shinsuke Nakamura for that NXT Championship. So that's going to be quite an interesting episode to say the least. Or an, an interesting match. Y'all, I've filmed four of these in a row. I know that they've been a little bit on the shorter side, but I feel like they've also been sort of on par for where we're usually at on our episodes. I, I always try to keep it like 20 to 30 minutes because I know like once it gets past 30, it's like all right, there's got to be a good reason why it's longer than 30 minutes, right? And that's usually because either a match goes on way too long or, you know, there's a lot of developments, like a lot of moving pieces and that sort of thing, so. Oh boy, looks like the crowd's on Rhea's side on this one. I can't really blame them, to be honest. If Rhea Ripley versus anyone at this point, just... Yep, Rhea Ripley. That is all. Or heck, even give us, like, Rhea versus Becky at WrestleMania. That'd be a good match. I'd like to save that one for WrestleMania. I'm down. You could even make, you could make it a mixed tag as well. That could be good. I, I'm completely down. Whatever it is, we, we, need, we need Becky versus Rhea at some point, too. That'd actually be a nice little triple threat match, to be at, to be honest with y'all. I'm totally down for it. Make it into a triple threat. Shoot, why not? Becky versus Rhea versus Bianca. See, we're, we're throwing out some ideas. You know, I, I'd pay for that match. Because they're all stars in their own right, and I like all three of them, and that's, that's what matters, right? Right. Huge scoop slam right there from Rhea to Bianca right there. Into the cover now. A huge kick out right there and that sort of thing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Bianca Belair into the corner goes Rhea. And Rhea Ripley now. Oh, and a huge pull right onto the hair. And Bianca now. What's going on here? Oh, right into the ropes. Bianca Belair showing her strength right here tonight. Huge move right there. Bianca going in to the cover on Rhea here tonight. Oh, and a huge moonsault and only a two count from that previous move. What's going on here? Bianca Belair. What is she up to here? 
Oh boy, huge slam right there. It's a test of strength here, to say the least. Well, see, here's the thing. If it's a triple threat match, like, at WrestleMania, like, you know, somebody can be protected in the finish, technically, right? To make them look strong in defeat and all that, so... Who knows? Here we go, Re Ripley now going into the cover. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Bianca Belair trying her hardest to go right for Rhea Ripley here tonight. This has been something else, everyone. Here we go, everyone. Here we go. Oh, boy. Bianca Belair into the cover and only a two count. And only a two count. Let's see what happens here. Huge move right there from Rhea. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I accidentally hit my microphone. If <laughs> you heard that. Oh, boy. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Huge submission hold locked in on Bianca Belair. Bianca's hanging in there. Bianca escapes the hold. Could this be it? Could this be it for the EST here tonight? Re Ripley now going on the offense once again. Oh boy. Rhea Ripley going for it. Oh! And Ripley connects. Could that be it? Could that be it? Rhea Ripley now going in the cover. Could this be it? Could this be it? Oh, it is not it. Bianca Belair kicks out right there. Oh boy. Bianca Belair with the counter into the cover. I swear to God, if that's the end, I'm going to laugh. We've had some bizarre endings here on WrestleMania and throughout Universe Mode, if we're being completely honest. WrestleMania shenanigans. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, Rhea with the counter. Oh, Bianca with the counter now. Oh, boy. This this could be very well the MVP match of WrestleMania, in my opinion. Let me know if this is the match that you're looking for. Or, you know, let me know what you thought was, like, of course, match of the night. Even though we still got one more match to go. But we'll... we'll We'll, we'll go back to that at the end, but Rhea Ripley once again has the submission hold locked in. Things aren't looking too good for Bianca. Could this be it? Bianca Belair taps out. Oh my goodness, what a showing. What a match between these two. And what a huge win right there from Rhea Ripley here tonight. What a match, y'all. This was certainly something. This, this was a special match. This was a match... That either woman, it, it could have went either way, but but Rhea Ripley walks out with a huge win here tonight. What a matchup, everyone. What a matchup. But coming up next is the main event of night one of WrestleMania featuring the NXT title between defending champion Shinsuke Nakamura against former NXT champion Finn Balor. So let's see what happens. All right, all right, all right, everyone, and welcome back. We've got ourselves the main event of night one here of WrestleMania. I was like, I took a little bit of a break in between filming, you know, some stuff popped up and that sort of thing. And here we are, kids. Here we are. We've got the main event of night one of WrestleMania. We've got arguably the two people, or at least two people, two of our main people that have held down the fort on universe mode on good old NXT. One Finn Balor and one Shinsuke Nakamura. Of course, Finn Balor losing that NXT championship to Roman Reigns at Royal Rumble. He left for a little while, and then Shinsuke Nakamura defeated 
Roman Reigns after winning King of the Ring, and that sort of thing. And well, the Demon came out at elim not Elimination Chamber, but um, King of the Ring. There we go. We had Demon Finn Balor return slash debut technically at uh, King of the Ring, and that's the same night where Shinsuke Nakamura won King of the Ring, and so that set up Roman Reigns versus Shinsuke Nakamura at Elimination Chamber, and then at Elimination Chamber. We also had a bit of a shock of a return of Finn Balor as he attacked Shinsuke Nakamura. And that's how we got to this matchup right here. So the Prince is looking to become a four-time NXT champion here on Universe Mode. Really, I feel like out of 100 episodes, he was probably champion for at least 60 of them. I'm pretty convinced of it at this point. No, it is so toasty in here. I forgot to, like... You know, just take off my sweatshirt before before I like started filming. I'm like, oh my god, it's so hot in here. I might have to like open up the window or something. Y'all, it is freaking January. I might have to open up a window at the time of filming this. Which again, I'm filming this on January 10th. I was gonna get done with filming a little bit earlier, but you know what? That's okay. At least everything will be filmed for night one at the end of the night, and that's what matters. Uh, so yeah, this should be up on Friday the 13th. Oh boy. <laughs> And then we've got our weekly SmackDown reaction on Saturday, and then hopefully we'll have night one start, or night two start on Sunday, and go through Wednesday for WrestleMania night two. And look at that. This feels right. This feels totally right. We appreciate you, Shinsuke. We appreciate you. That is all. We're just sort of letting the crowd do their thing, you know, here at beautiful WrestleMania. It's a gorgeous night here. We've had a number of titles retained and a title change, you know, that sort of thing. And will we see that same pattern here in this matchup? Will we get a title change or a title retained? I've got no idea. I think it's pretty even in my honest opinion, just because it's just based on how they've been rolling here. I mean... Finn Balor came back in strong fashion, but he did lose to Chad Gable, so if I had to put if I had to put momentum on anybody, it might be Shinsuke, so we'll have to see here. Boy oh boy. Y'all wouldn't what, what an if what a first night of WrestleMania that this has been. Holy cow. We've had so many developments. We've had title defenses, title you know, changes. We've had some incredible matches, some shenanigans. We've had a little bit of everything here in Universe Mode, combined into like one show, seemingly enough. But I hope that you all like the format for WrestleMania. I think this makes so much more sense. I know the sound effects are off, okay? I, I, know, they, I know they've been off. I know. Introducing the challenger from Gray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 100. Introducing the champion from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds. He is the NXT champion. He is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura. And there we go, people. The beautiful, absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful NXT Championship right there. That's what they've been fighting for this entire season, this entire universe mode. And it really, if you really think about it, this is entirely fitting because Finn Balor, of course, you know, as we went from my GM over into universe mode, was our NXT Champion. And, you know, that's was title reign number one for him, right? Like, he was the only champion at the time, because at the time we did my GM, the, like, the tag titles weren't a thing yet, so, um, yeah, he was the only champion going into, you know, universe mode, because, well, the women's champion at the time was Beth Phoenix, but she got injured right at the very end, so yeah, Finn Balor was the sole champion for NXT at one point, you know, right at the very beginning. Shinsuke Nakamura was the first ever now NXT Intercontinental Champion, for which we started out with the North American Championship, and I think that was the biggest upgrade that we made on this show, to be honest with y'all. I really think so. Um, 
but I mean, you know, that speaks volumes because, like, that's, you know, the first champions for universe mode facing off against each other. They had one match very early on in universe mode, and I think Finn pulled out with the win. I would like to say that was the case. But, I mean, just having these two in the main event of WrestleMania night one for that NXT championship, two people on the brand that are very synonymous with titles, I think it's very fitting. So, there's that. And it's very fitting because these are two dudes that have truly held down the fort on this show. Like, no matter what, we could guarantee that we're going to get a good match with either one of these two, you know, if they're involved in the match and that sort of thing. So, we're just going to have to see. We are definitely going to have to see who pulls out with a huge win here. Because that's really going to set the tone moving ahead. I mean, we already lost the NXT Intercontinental Championship back. But that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. Like, I'm trying to get everything filmed as soon as I can just to kind of plan things out. And I kind of have an idea as to where things should go, I think, moving ahead. So, there's that. There is that. Huge knee drop right there from Shinsuke to Finn right there. And I get it from a little tired. It's because a little bit later on in the evening, we're finishing up the last match. Because I'm like, look, I just want to have this whole thing filmed tonight. There's no other way around it. Oh, boy. Oh, Finn missed the coup de gras. Oh, and Shinsuke with the knee. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the Kinshasa right there. I'm not even joking. I thought that was going to be it. Finn with the forearm. Oh, boy. Finn's looking for that drop kick. Oh, no. Oh, no. Things aren't looking too good for the current NXT champion right here. Oh, and a kick out right there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And Finn, huge coup de gras right there to Shinsuke Nakamura. Could this be enough to play Shinsuke right here? Oh, and Shinsuke kicks out. Oh, my God. Y'all remember his match with Roman Reigns here on Universe Mode? Oh, dear God. That was something else, everybody. That was something. That was next level stuff. Oh, we got a fight forever chant, and I feel like that's kind of where things are going right now. I'm not mad at it, though. I'm really not. I'm just tired, and I'd, I'd like a shower, hopefully. That'd be great. Oh, boy. Here we go. Nakamura now. What's he up to here? On the outside of the ring goes Finn Balor right here. Oh boy. Finn, don't be like Becky Lynch earlier. You gotta, you gotta win by pinfall or submission inside the ring, my dude. I mean, you're former three-time champion. You should know this by now. Oh, boy. We've also got some breaking developments as well. As we, well, we'll, we'll, we'll make the big announcement before we close out the episode, of course, because, you know. <sighs> Forgot to mention at the very beginning of the video, and that's okay. It's not the Cesaro and Jordan Devlin match. We got one more announcement to make. Oh boy. Owen Finn with the counter. You gotta win by pinfall or submission, Finn. Oh Jesus, take the wheel. This is the main event of WrestleMania. Well, of night one, but still, it's a main event. Okay, at least we got him back inside the ring. Love that for us. Oh boy. Shinsuke with the counter. These two are just like letting, just laying it all out there. And we're here for it. The fans want them to fight forever, and that's exactly what we're seeing here, people. That is exactly what we are seeing here. And my teeth. 
We got some chamomile tea over here. Oh, there goes the Kinshasa right there. Jesus, take the wheel. That thing comes from out of nowhere. Truly. Truly a sight to behold, y'all. Finn Balor kicks out at two. Oh, and a second Kinshasa right there to Finn right there. Oh, God, he's right by the ropes. Oh, and Shinsuke retains the NXT champion. I'm kind of, you know what? I'm happy for you, Shinsuke. I'm very happy for you, my dude. We're in the Shinsuke Nakamura era, okay? We're here for it. A new era is upon us on NXT, y'all. Through blood, sweat, and tears, Shinsuke Nakamura retains the title here tonight against former three-time NXT champion Finn Balor. An absolutely incredible matchup. The last announcement we were going to make before we, you know, close out for night one of WrestleMania... Uh, Rhea Ripley just got added to the... Well, I mean, I couldn't have really announced it until, well, the end of the episode anyway, but Rhea Ripley's been added to the Raw Women's title match per Stephanie McMahon, so there's there's that. Either way around, let me know what y'all thought about... So it'll now be Sasha Banks versus Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley for the Raw Women's Championship. That'll be coming up in the next episode. But either way around, let me know what you thought about night one of WrestleMania. I think it had a little bit of everything, a little bit of shenanigans, a little bit of just good matches and you know we had some good developments along the way but again let me know what you all thought down in the comments down below make sure to leave a like comment subscribe all that good stuff tomorrow which should hopefully be well saturday yeah it'll be saturday we'll have our weekly smackdown reaction video up probably sometime mid a ridiculously stupid hour per usual <laughs> and then i'm hoping to get things filmed in time for sunday for night two to start i don't know we'll have to see you know at the time of recording this it is tuesday so on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in. Thanks for the love and support for the series and all that good stuff so far. And I will see you all in the next one.